Cly Marshes is famous for bird life, but the importance of the area doesn't end at the beach. Beyond the shore, there's another world of wildlife which doesn't receive as much attention. Cly marks the western end of North Norfolk's Chalk Reef, which is also notable for several other underwater features. Although the reef is just starting at Cly, the seabed here is already rich in marine wildlife. Wreckage and deposits of prehistoric wood offer extra opportunities for flora and fauna, since each favours differing species. Real and artificial reefs provide respite and cover for small animals. Here, juvenile bib shelter from the current. These young fish are lucky that they're not considered good to eat. The wreck of the Vera can be seen from the beach at low tide. She sank in 1914 and has rested on the seabed ever since. Although battered and broken by the sea, a sizeable, recognisable hulk remains, and today it is absolutely covered in wildlife. The long redundant prop shaft runs back from the engine for over 50 metres. A four metre wide spare iron propeller still lies on the deck of the Vera, covered in seaweed. The drive unit was made of valuable bronze and salvaged long ago. Sometimes eels lodge here as they make their amazing journeys to breed in the Sargasso Sea from the rivers where they grew up. Marine worms are more ambitious, diverse and beautiful than their relatives on land. These peacock fanworms use their sticky tentacles to catch food carried past by the current. The pieces of the Vera that show above the surface are parts of the huge steam engine which powered a ship over 80 metres long. Sunk during the Great War, plenty of metal still remains a century later. Our debris persists long after we do. The wreck is dotted with soft corals known as dead men's fingers, which are the same orange and white as the more numerous plumos anemones. The sea clears in the summer. This is Norfolk's growing season for seaweeds, or marine algae as they're also known. Seaweeds need light, just like plants on the surface, so they thrive on shallow structures where it is bright. More than 100 varieties have been recorded in Norfolk. Seaweed provides food, cover and habitat for many other species of wildlife. As soon as there's something to graze, hunt or hide amongst, mobile animals move in and some have more unusual ways to use it. Many small spider crabs collect plants and animals to use as camouflage. They also move with the current so they blend in with passing debris. Many crabs are quite common, but this stylish looking masked crab has been recorded only recently. It hunts by probing the sand with its back legs. This one seems to hope there'll be something to eat just underneath these worm casts. Lobsters often live around wrecks. This one has had a narrow escape just after malting its last shell. You can tell by the claw injury. Lobsters can be left or right-handed. This one is left-handed because that's the side of its larger crushing claw. This one is right-handed. And this one is left-handed again. The first thing that divers notice are the orange and white plumos anemones which thrive raised above the seabed. Height is sought after. Up in the current they can catch more plankton. Hundreds of tentacles trap food particles and small animals. They contain thousands of stinging cells which fire tiny tethered harpoons to snare their prey. Marine animals can be very different from those we know on land. The miniature golden trees here are creatures called bryozoans. They're colonial animals, like corals, made up of many individuals which build a shared structure together. Steamships all had boilers where water was heated to generate steam. This one is big enough to surface on low spring tides. It's just as encrusted with animals and plants as the rest of the wreck. Small animals in particular appreciate the apartments where the many boiler tubes used to be. Little cuttlefish are tiny relatives of octopus and simple snails. They use water jets to move around and hunt. 
but it's hard work for such small animals to stay still against the moving sea. Even when adult, these animals are only the size of a bumblebee. Despite being small, they're fierce hunters which ambush prey from the sand, which is why they cover themselves so carefully. They can change their skin color and pattern to blend in perfectly. The vera isn't the only marine feature that attracts animal interest. Sandwiched in time between more recent human events and the ancient Cretaceous chalk of the reef, an Ice Age seafloor is exposed. Trees drowned by floods lie fallen and pressed by glacial deposits, forming another oasis for marine life. The oak trunks on top are almost unchanged by their thousands of years underwater and still extremely tough. They offer a secure home for many animals, particularly colonial hydroids and bryozoans. Elsewhere, the wood emerges as a black ridge, which varies in profile as the sand moves. Fish like bib shoal around this wooden reef. Crabs and lobsters find homes here too. Humans can only be fleeting visitors to these sites, but while we're away, life goes on. As well as being rich in wildlife, healthy seas are a vital part of our own life support system. Just as on land, better protection of key habitats and species will benefit both people and wildlife. Please join us in looking after our coast and our seas.